Well, Data, you're born in Nebraska. Your time at Creighton is well known, but you even started your coaching career at Southeast Community College in that state. Uh, and I know you've been in Eugene with great success for more than a decade, but is there a sense to you that it almost feels like this is a full circle moment when you're going to come back and play some road games back in Lincoln, Nebraska? It will be a little different. Uh, you know, started in the old Big Eight at Kansas State, and uh, so it is. Uh, it is different. Uh, a lot of travel that we're going to be engaged in, but uh, it's exciting at the same time. I spent 14 years in the Pac-12, and uh, now it's kind of a new day for for all of us on the West Coast, and uh, we're pretty excited about it. What has been like over the last year? for you and your program. You obviously are honoring the last year in the Pac-12 and trying to play it to the best of your ability, but also knowing that this move is on the horizon and that it potentially changes certain things with your program, whether it's recruiting or logistics. So how have you handled the last year or so? Well, we wanted to finish as strong as we could in the Pac-12. We did win the tournament, so that was nice. Uh, but it, it was a year of looking ahead. You know, we, we had to finish the year in the Pac-12, but Obviously, we're going to face a lot of new opponents next year, and then even within the schools we're familiar with, Washington had a coaching change, USC had a coaching change, so the only one we're familiar with is Mick and uh, down at UCLA. So a lot of changes for our staff, you know, and looking ahead, a lot of new scouts, uh, travel will be different, new hotels. So the anticipation of all that, uh, you start to look at, as soon as the season was over. But uh, during the season, you're focused in on the next game, trying to win the next game, uh, trying to finish the Pac-12 as strong as you could. And that tournament title really continued an amazing run for you. In this athletic department as a whole, they call it the decade of the duck with everything that's been going on in Eugene. Uh, how much fun has it been to be a part of this alongside Rob Mullins and for the last couple of years, Dan Lanning and the rest of the coaches? It's been great. We've enjoyed uh, the 14 years. We've had phenomenal success. Football, we've played for two national championships in the time I've been there under Chip Kelly and Mark. Uh, so that was a lot of fun. Uh, our softball's been good. Our baseball's been good. Uh, track's always been good. So, you know, it's, it's just been a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, we had a Final Four appearance. Kelly had a Final Four appearance. So uh, our basketball's tried to keep up with the rest of the sports. What do you think will be the biggest change, whether it is logistically, scheduling-wise, recruiting, and how your program is affected by this move to a new league? Well, Rick, I don't, I don't think our recruiting will be affected. Uh, we've always recruited nationally, so I don't think that'll change much. Um, obviously, the big thing will be a lot of new venues and a lot of new travel. Um, we're going to have to make five cross-country trips uh, January, February, March. Um, four for the regular season and then probably one for the tournament. So uh, it'll be a little different, you know, trying to navigate that. Uh, we're not used to weather delays on the West Coast with travel, and I'm a little bit worried about Welcome some of Chicago those. Yeah. <laughs> some of those. So, uh, you know, in 14 years, we've only had two weather delays, and they were both at Washington State. So um, it will be a little different with our travel. So. But we're excited about the, the opportunities. We, you know, we did go to Michigan uh, a few years back. We've been to Nebraska, um, you know, since I've been at Oregon. So we've, we've played a few Big Ten teams, and we've played them in the tournament. You know, we played Iowa in the tournament, Wisconsin a couple times, uh, Michigan. Uh, so we have played some Big Ten teams in the NCAA tournament. How do you feel about the possibility of expanding the NCAA beyond the current 68 team format? Well, you know, there's two trains of thoughts there. You know, why mess with tradition? You know, the 68 that we've been working with has, has worked out pretty well. However, you know, there are 365 Division I basketball schools. And um, if you compare it to all the other sports, per, percentage-wise, we are really underrepresented in, in our national championship. So, um, you know, I'd add in a few teams. Uh, is something I know that is going to be looked at very seriously. Uh, they don't want to expand the tournament in, in weeks, you know, but uh, to have that Tuesday and Wednesday when they play the first four now, uh, they could play a few more games there and probably get a few more teams included. Dana, how do you stay measured, patient, 
calm and flexible with all the change that's going on right now, not just in college basketball, but in college sports and what seems to be an eventuality, not a possibility about revenue sharing and the continuing to evolve transfer portal. These are all things that have changed dramatically and changed the landscape of sports dramatically in the last five years. It's really been a lot of change. I've been fortunate enough to do this for 40 some years and 35 years as division one head coach. And uh, the last three years have been a big change. Um, so, you know, I look at it, it's, it's great for the student athletes. I love seeing them, you know, get some money and, and have some things in college. Uh, so I think that's been great. Um, you know, what's coming is, is gonna be even more changes. Uh, and you know, when, you, when you've done something for that long, you know, you, you've gotta change. You know, I, I can't drag my feet. I, I have a little bit the last few years, but I gotta quit dragging my feet. And, uh, and with the change with the Big Ten, with the change now with the coming with uh, revenue sharing, all these things, just got to adjust. And uh, sometimes at 65, 66 years old, that's not easy to do, but we've got to do it to compete and uh, to stay up with the time. So a lot of changes coming, but uh, I think our school's done a tremendous job. Our staff, uh, our basketball staff starting to adjust. You know, I see it across the sports at Oregon, you know, Dan's done a tremendous job of using the portal and, and adjusting real quick. So uh, all of us, you know, we've got to change with the times.